today I'm going to show how to develop a color negative film. A color negative film is what is commonly known as color film or color print film. It's the typical film that back in the days people used if they wanted to have color shots. In order to develop a color negative film uh, we have to do the so-called C41 process. The C41 process is a very very standardized process. It is a set chemical for a set period of time with a set temperature and, and that's it. There is not really much room for playing around. So if you are into home photography and, and developing films at home, I really suggest doing black and white and starting with black and white. You have to imagine that back in the days when there were no digital cameras, people would shoot color negative film by the, by the millions and millions and millions of rolls or maybe 10 millions of rolls uh, got developed and they had machines who were doing this and this process is really optimal for machines. Nowadays there are not so many places, at least in my area, that, uh, that offer color negative process. They usually send it to a bigger town uh, if they have a machine there and then they run it through the machine there. There is not as much room for playing around as let's say with black and white images. At least I've been doing this for 10 years and it's just not much room for error. You really need to have an exact temperature you really need to have the right chemicals, you really need to keep to the timing, otherwise your images will be just ruined. It's not like the black and white process when you can push and pull and do everything different kind of stuff. I personally experienced that if I don't keep the times or I don't keep the temperature, that my images develop a reddish tint. I developed my first color negative back in 2009, I guess. If it's possible, then I will put up some images from that developing here. Uh, I, I really was happy with that, paying attention to the developing, really keeping to the, to the book. It's, it's ju it just pays off. So the color negative takes a lot more abuse as far as exposure goes, but uh, not in the developing period. So if you want to have sunny parts in your shots and also shadowy parts in your shots, then your C41 uh, film, your color negative film, will be able to deal with the situation much easier than, let's say, uh, an E6 slide film or, or most of the black and white films. This is a Tetana C41 kit. I've been using this also for more than 10 years. This is a 2.5 liter kit and I think this is the, the smallest amount you can buy nowadays. Like 10 or, or 11, 12 years ago there were smaller packs as well. I think this is a very, very reliable chemical and it really gives you nice results. As with all the tetanol chemicals, it comes with a manual, which is super useful. You have to read this. Let's see what's in the box. We have um, a color developer part three. So obviously it's gonna be a three-part developer. We have color developer part two. We have the color developer part one. We have the stabilizer, the bleach fix part two. And how surprising, the bleach fix part one. So as you see we are going to need three working solutions. Uh, one of them will be the color developer. This is what we're gonna use first. This is really gonna do the developing part. The bleach fix uh, which is like the fixer and then we have a stabilizer which will go on at the end. It, the stabilizer is also a wash uh, so you don't need to have an extra wash at the end of the C41 process. So first I'm going to mix these when these uh, go on the film then it's gonna be 38 degrees Celsius and then I'm gonna use these uh, also at 38 degrees Celsius and this guy stays for the end and it just it's just left at room temperature. So let's do this first of all we are going to mix the color developer so we open up our tetanol guide for half a liter of working solution 200 milliliters of water 100 milliliter form part one 100 from part 2 and 100 from part 3. There you go, here you have 100 milliliters of water. So this is a color, the Tetana Color Tech C41 Color Developer Part 1. Then we need the Tetana Color Tech C41 Kit Color Developer Part 2. So this is 100 milliliters again. This is the Tetanol Colortec C41 kit, color developer part three, and we also need 100 milliliters from this. 
Okay, so let's mix these. Okay, and the final thing we need is again 100 milliliter of water. Okay, the next chemical we are going to mix is the bleach fix. As you can see, for half a liter of bleach fix, you need 300 milliliters of water and 100 and 100 of each part. Let's start with 100 of water. First, we add this darker color tetanol color C41 kit. Uh, Beach Felix part one. One hundred more of water, and we move on to the Tatana Color Taxi forty one Bleach Felix part two. So let's measure one hundred of this. And the last thing we are going to need is 100 milliliter of water again. Our solution, working solution is ready. It has this nice darker color. There you go, nice and labeled. And we have nicely arrived to the last chemical we are going to mix today. And that's the stabilizer. It is really easy because you need 400 mils of water and just 100 milliliter of the stabilizer and then you're done. And 400 water is the Tetanol ColorTech C41 kit stabilizer. As I told you, this is also detergent, so it's a little bit foamy. I'm a little bit careful not to make it too foamy. There you go, it's nice and labeled. This is our C41 stabilizer. As you see, this is very much a home development. This is very much uh, just do it yourself stuff because this is how I warm up my chemicals to reach 38 degrees Celsius. These uh, two bottles are filled with hot water. I keep monitoring that with this very, very modern device. Uh, thermometer but roughly it's gonna work out fine I have my developing tank here and I just went through my exposed C41 films and I found this one that I didn't even remember to have and this is a Lomography 800 uh, C41 film I don't know when I shot this where I shot this what's on this roll and that's the best part of developing a roll of film and I'm going to load this film into the developing tank this of course needs to be done in complete darkness so uh, you will you're not gonna see that and in the meantime these things continue to warm up so now i'm in complete darkness i'm going to take the film out of the roll and i'm going to roll it into the developing tank just to give you something to keep your eyes busy um, i'm just going to put up a few pictures from uh, my previous c41 processes um, that i had in this very do-it-yourself low-budget lab. Here is the film in my hand. What a wonderful feeling. Now I take the scissors and you know the end of the film which is uh, a little bit thinner um, that is used for loading the film into the camera. That part I'm going to cut off with the scissor. Okay, take the reel into my right hand and I start, start to push the film into it and I start moving the rear and I hope that the film is going in. Okay, I think it started going in. That's a great feeling. There's a tape at the end. It's a Kodak made film. At least that's my experience. Usually the Kodak films have a tape at the end of the film that fixes it to the spool. So it is probably an originally Kodak made film which was rebranded by Lomography. It means it's going to be probably a very good quality. But now it's all loaded into the tank. It's all done. Hmm, that was quick. So the film is now in the tank. It has reached the 38 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to pour this on the film. This uh, chemical will be on the film for 3 minutes and 15 seconds. And it's time. There is no rinsing, no washing between the car developer and the bleach fix. Okay, it seems like it's 37 and a half. So that's the best we can get with this robust method that we have here today. So I'm gonna pour this onto the film or into the tank or whatever you're supposed to say. This is the, the car developer which was poured off the film. This goes back into the bottle.
there you go. Four minutes, so we have to get rid of this thing now. I'm going to rinse the film. And I'm gonna use hot water, but not like burning hot, 20 some degrees probably. Here we have the bleach fix in a cup. So I'm going to pour this back into its bottle. I'm gonna pour the stabilizer on the film. The stabilizer is around 20 degrees because it's room temperature. I haven't warmed it up. The tetanol manual says that it's supposed to be on the film for one minute. I'm going to pour this off. And let's take out the film. There are images on the film. So let's see what kind of images these are. Oh, it looks like a couple of double exposures. Yeah, that, that's what happens if you don't shoot film for a while and you forget which uh, shots you have already used. There are some friends I can see there. Oh, that's me and my wife and in, in a picture. Oh, no, 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 it's a wedding. It's a wedding. It's my, my, my uh, friend's wedding, Gabor's wedding from back in the summer of 2018. Okay, there are some nice images.